Okay, um, as you are now aware, the sound has been fixed. Um, I have a video that I've done on the old sound on um, aggression, mood, and, and hormone relationships, which I need to redo. Um, but I've been to see, uh, for those that live in the UK, they'll be aware of the company Medichex uh, today, at one of their offices in Nottingham. Uh, impressed with the company uh, and we may be moving forward with some form of working relationship and on the way back just like i do generally when i'm driving start thinking about its and bats and things and things and it's also came from someone asking about a fertility pct protocol after they've been on for five years and i got thinking about um does steroid use in the paternal side affect the unborn child or have any impact on conception uh, not in regards to fertility obviously we know these issues can be issues with fertility but in regards to DNA uh, and coding that is passed on to the child now there's been studies in the past that have shown that children that are born of women who have suffered starvation uh, and the big big example is children born in the holocaust uh, that they genetically have a predisposition to obesity because a genetic mutation has occurred in the transfer of dna from the mother to the child because the mother is starving uh, and that ge genetic mutation has caused the child to have um, a slow metabolic rate and a predisposition to store fat obviously in a direct response to the gestational period being low calorie um, so it got me thinking um, if external environmental conditions can affect DNA and then surely hormonal issues can affect DNA now one of the things that steroids do and this this is something I'll discuss when I do the um, mood and, and, and aggression type stuff is they can increase white matter in the brain um, one of the things my water is involved in is is our impulsivity our reactionary um, element so I'm now thinking that it is possible that a child conceived from a father who takes steroid may be slightly more impulsive or maybe slightly more short fused or reactionary. Now, if anyone out there has conceived while being on gear, by all means, you know, drop us a line, drop us an email, Dave at Crossland, C R O S L A N D S dot org dot UK. And let me know if you feel that your child has a trait of this or if you feel your child has any behavioral differences to you or your wife now obviously behavior is genetic coding and it's environmental as well and so is mood and so is aggression and all these things and so are hormones to a degree so i you know it is difficult to be finite with this and, and at the end of the day i'm not looking to come out with any scientific study saying this is fact I'm just musing an idea to see if there's anything in it. But it would seem on the surface that, that uh, drug use, we know nandrolones can cause sperm mutation. We know that already. Uh, and it does seem that on the drug use element that there could be changes in the behavior of a child or the child's genetic predisposition to act in a certain way regarding stimulus if one of the parents has used steroids. Um, Obviously, if the mother is used steroids at the point of ingestation or at any period, they are not known to be pregnant for a period of time. Bear in mind, you know, a, a female using anabolics is not going to be uh, menstruating. Uh, so the, the, the conception is, is highly, 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 highly unlikely. Uh, and one of the reasons why females increase testosterone production in times of stress is it's a natural defense system to make them infertile because the last thing they want to do is be becoming pregnant in an environment that's extremely stressful. However, 
What I am curious about is that whether females who are in stressful environments, and I need to look at some of this, as Holocaust is particularly good for this, obviously a horrific time, but there's a vast number of people under extreme circumstances, so we can look at how those circumstances have affected them, is to see if the number of males born at that time is greater than the number of females. Because as cortisol rises in a female, it increases female test production. If a woman is already pregnant and in a stressful environment, that point in gestation where testosterone levels affect the sexuality of the child could quite potentially be altered. So it would be interesting to see if those children born at that period are predominantly male. Anyway, I'm getting off track a little bit here. Um, so, I'm just going to grab a coffee. Hang on a second. The question is... Two hormones, steroids, have any effect on the behavioural traits of a child conceived? My gut reaction is potentially yes. Uh, and I have experienced behavioural issues with my own daughter who was conceived while I was on cycle. Uh, and behavioural traits that are very opposite to both me and the mother. So definitely opposite to what our genetic coding would suggest. Um, and I think that there may be an element of a child conceived while the paternal is on steroids could have a predisposition to being more risk-taking or less aware of risk. Um, and I'm wondering if they're going to be more androgen sensitive and more androgen resistant in such a way. Uh, I unfortunately am never going to have the funding to test these theories because it would involve with CAG and, and all sorts of things. Uh, but uh, I do feel there will be some impact. Um, I do feel that the genetic coding that is transferred could be influenced in some way. Um, I did have a discussion with a, a gentleman today who was a bit more knowledgeable on, on that side of things and he did mention something to me and it, it wasn't particularly uh, that there were mutations in the coding, it was that coding can be affected and become more suggestive or less suggestive in that the, the coding signal becomes stronger or weaker and he was citing some research in, in cancer cells and how cancer cells have become resistant to uh, CIRMs and to AIs uh, and, and now they become resistant to chemo uh, in that the, 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 the cancer cells change their sensitivity and the code expression that they give um, and then that's how uh, they'd even develop their own estrogen supply. So obviously bit complex and I don't want to go into it too much here but the bottom line is I think that usage was a male conceives or a male a female conceives should I say but the male is using could have an impact on behavioral traits of the child that is born so guys if you've had a kid while you've been on I'm not saying that these kids are going to be mutated or they're going to be lunatics or anything of that nature all i'm saying is that they could display characteristics that isn't typical of you or the mother so if you and the mother are quite quiet and quite withdrawn but this child is very outgoing could be an influence you know things like that so that's what i'm looking for i'm, I'm not expecting you to say well my kid's been born with six toes or my kid stands in the corner and hits themselves on the head with a hammer we're not looking at that and we're not suggesting that we're suggesting subtle behavioral changes uh and they don't necessarily have to be a negative thing they could be a positive thing uh but if you had a kid and you've conceived a kid or you should say you were using why your wife conceived a child or your partner conceived a child then I'd be interested to know if you find the child's behaviour slightly different to what you'd expect considering yourself and your partner. If you do, 
please please drop us an email in fact even if you don't please drop us an email so it's dave d-a-v-e at crossland c-r-o-s-l-a-n-d-s dot org dot uk very very quickly um i have a new camera which will be delivered tomorrow so you should start seeing me in hd which is probably not a good thing but i'm sorry about that and i'm also getting a backdrop built for behind me so that we have some sort of corporate image um because people say i need to get more professional so there you go i'm making an effort all right guys come on it's not my strong point i had to get the wife to find out how to turn the fucking volume up on the computer for the mic i'm gonna fucking clue i rang james green he should produce the films with and he just started bloody laughing at me just about press buttons that's it not technical at all so leave me alone anyway uh, oh, the other thing, yeah, Thuddy is going for his pal operation on Monday. So Monday and Tuesday are going to be a couple of nerve-wracking days. Um, but they say his pneumonia is cleared up well enough now for him to, to undergo the surgery. Um, and the good thing is the new camera, because it's detachable, I can actually show you, show you the mots, because one of them's down there at the moment, snoring his bloody head up again. So hello, boo. today um right i'm starting to rabbit on about a lot of bollocks now so i'm gonna get off um uh, but there you go please any information you've got be greatly appreciated the other th no i'll do that in another video don't worry about that okay take care guys and i'll speak to you soon